Hey y'all, let's take a look at some, some geometry today. Just an FYI, if anybody asks you, Saxon, how come you don't have a different geometry book? Saxon does now have a new set of books that are not as good as the old ones, and it has a separate uh, geometry book. Don't use it. Go ahead and use the older editions. I think they're third editions. Uh, go to usingsaxon.com to make sure you get the right editions. But um, the newer editions, they strip geometry out of all the pre-algebra and algebra one and two and all that kind of stuff, and they make, make it a separate whole other book. Waste of time, waste of money. They've known for at least 100 years that kids who take geometry as a separate course do worse than the ones that have it integrated. In fact, in other nations around the world, I think America is still the only nation that in many cases teaches geometry as a separate subject. So one of the great things about sex. Okay, so anyhow, um, some geometry today. Make sure you know these definitions and if you need to write them down, write them down. Okay, this is a radius. A radius uh, is a line that segment that goes, starts at the center of a circle and touches the edge of the circle. A chord is a segment that touches two edges outside of the circle. A diameter is a chord that goes through the center of the circle. So you can tell this is like two radii. So a diameter is twice as long as a radius. The circumference is the distance all the way around a circle. Now here's something weird. A circum, by the way, in Latin means around. So um, here we go. Okay, this is something strange that they just, uh, the Greeks or maybe the Persians or maybe the, um, Amazonians or somebody discovered this many years ago, but if you take a diameter as if it's a maybe it's a piece of string or something that won't stretch and you start it right here and you stretch it around a circle, it'll stretch and go, oh, that stops right there. Then unpin that part and do it again and the diameter goes all the way around. Oh, there it is. Okay. Then you do it again. Oh, the diameter goes all the way around like this and then it's, and you go, oh, there's a little left over. Okay. Well, the, a diameter fits around a circle three times and there's a little left over and they figured out well let's see that's this is the oh this is okay it goes here okay and that's the and that you, you probably know you've heard of that number right that number is called by this the greek letter pi so basically pi means the number of times a diameter goes around the circle that's it and it doesn't matter how big the circle is if you go, what about a bigger circle? That, yeah, well, I mean, if it's a bigger circle, the diameter will be also longer and bigger as well. So it'll just go around the same number of times. So pi means the number of times the diameter goes around the circle that it's a part of. That's it. I never understood that even in high school. So anyway, I hope that helps. Okay, memorize this, write this down. The circumference of a circle can be figured out by finding out what the diameter is and then multiplying it by pi. Or three point, we can just use 3.14 if you want. That's simple enough. If you're making a building or something that's really, you want to be really accurate, obviously you need more accurate than that. But memorize that formula. That's one of the first formulas we need to memorize. The second formula is this. The area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. Pi times the radius squared. Now don't forget what area is. Area means the number of squares inside a circle. Like, you know, but I mean, it's, you can't even, I mean, no human could like go, oh yeah, I know if you divided a circle into like even squares or even like this, how do you know, like, how, what is that right there? Is that half of one? Is that three fourths? I mean, what the heck is, you know, there's hardly, except for the ones in the middle, you can't tell what's what, but very handy formula to have. So to find the area, it's pi times the radius squared, not twice the radius, square the radius. In other words, well, you know what, let's do one, a couple of these. The radius of a circle is five centimeters. In other words, here's the radius, right? There's a center and then boom, and it's gonna be five, okay? What's the circumference of the circle? Well, if you go back, don't forget, the circumference is pi times the diameter. Well, if the radius is five, what's the diameter? 10, right? Okay, so circumference is pi times the diameter. You don't need that dot, I just did there. The circumference is pi times, that'll be 10, right? So if you want to go, the circumference is 10 times pi. Um, you could just write 10 times 3.14 if you want. And of course, if you could just do this in your head, doop, or just move it over. So the circumference will be 31.4. In other words, if the radius is 5, the distance around that circle is going to be 31.4 centimeters. That's it. Okay, let's move to another one. What is the area of the circle? Okay, well here, same circle, there's the radius, 
It's five right there. In other words, we want to know how many squares will be in this circle. All right, and the formula you want to use, area is pi times the radius squared. Well, if the radius is five, what's five squared? 25, right? So it's going to be 25 times pi. Now, what I would do is just take 3.14 and just multiply it by 25, and you'll get 78.5. Now, don't know what that number means. That number means that if you have a circle with five, you know, a radius of five, then that means if you, you know, were to count this out and the squares, there would be like 78.5 squares in this circle. That's the area of the circle. And that's it. Just make sure you memorize those formulas and uh, apply those to the problems of the, oh, the snack treats that they give you in your book. So let's go ahead and pause it and go ahead and do this one in your book. Okay, well, they tell you the radius of a circle is 100 meters. Good grief, that's a huge circle. That's a circle that's twice as long as a football field. Good night. Anyway, okay. Um, so the radius of a circle is 100 meters. So I'm just going to do a little drawing there, and it's going to be 100. Okay, what's the diameter? Obviously, 200 meters, right? The diameter is 200 meters. Okay, the circumference, and again, you can use your formula. It's pi times the diameter. Of course, the diameter is going to be 200, so the circumference will be 200. You could say 200 pi, like you would say 200x or something like that. And if you want, just go ahead and do the arithmetic over here. You could, if you wanted to, just do 3.14 times 2. That'd be 6.28, and then you could just you know, kind of go over and go, oh, it's a 628. So the circumference of that thing is going to be 628 meters. The area is a whole other thing. Okay, now don't forget the area formula. The area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. Now the radius, good heavens, if it's 100, what's 100 times 100? Well, you know, 100 times 100, you can just do the 1 times the 1 is 1, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So here we go. Okay, that is going to be 10,000 times, don't forget, times pi. You And there we go. And if you want, you can go ahead and do the arithmetic. That's going to be, in other words, times 3.14. So 10,000 times uh, 3.14 will be 31,400. Okay, and that'll be whatever, uh, square meters. So there you go. Okay. All right, that's enough geometry for today. Good luck on those today. See you guys next time. Have a great day.